Hey everybody, so we're gonna head to the thrift store for a thrift with me because we have a $25 challenge. I'll tell you more on the drive. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Blake, AKA Posh Boss Blake, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are at the thrift store. We are doing the $25 thrifted outfit challenge for a lunch brunch occasion. And I'm doing this not alone, but with my friend and fellow YouTuber, Lori of Lori's Boston Found. And I am so excited to do this challenge. I have not done a little collab in a hot moment. So the requirements are as follows. One, you actually have to subscribe to my channel and <laughs> thumbs up this video <laughs> but no really so the requirements for this challenge are you need to find a top a bottom and a pair of shoes the themed look is for a lunch brunch look a theme outfit and the sizing doesn't matter it can be all sorts of sizes the goal is to sell all these items and maybe a potential follow-up video comment down below if you'd like to see you know a month from now if we've sold the items uh but we are going to be doing a little thrift with me so we're gonna mask up go in the thrift store and see what we can find hopefully a cute outfit stay tuned for the end because we're gonna do a haul all right you guys so here we are in the thrift store this particular thrift store had like a room of shoes they were an interesting mix uh, as you can see here this fun floral pattern but a little bit worn from Steve Madden. They were running about five or six ninety nine. We had these fun nine West ankle booties, which I was feeling. I was thinking maybe, you know, ankle booty season, let's do it for a cute little lunch look, but you know, I passed it up. I saw these fun nine West ankle strap uh, heels. They were very cool, a little suede patent moment. These, these were so cute. This had like a Pilgrim-esque vibe from Soul Society. Super cute. Wasn't feeling it. That's like a very particular look in my head. So we passed that. Passed the orange boots because we are not hunting. We do not need to be seen like that. Uh, these Ugg uh, shoes were $13. They seem to be out of season and uh, worn for $13. But overall, you know, interesting mix of shoes in this thrift store there was a lot of i would say outdated styles in this uh, area that said there were some fun ones like this patent kind of i'm not i'm, I'm not going to say patent leather but uh the red mountaineering shoes the cool ankle boots there was a lot of boots and fun prints it's just the brands were not something i was looking for or they were just a little too worn for the the price and you know taking one look back around I noticed again just a lot of worn items which is absolutely fine but I wanted something super chic for this look and then I spotted these oh my god you guys can we talk about these pumps oh my god you guys these pumps look so fabulous you guys I can't I can't I saw them. I'm not sure if I'm going to get them, but I'm absolutely going to hold on to them while we do a little bit more shopping. So that is that. And we're going to continue to browse. All right, you guys. So then we shifted onto the circular racks. This is where they had the blouses and the uh, long sleeve tops that were a little bit dressier. I think a little too dressy for brunch or they were just um, a little too worn for my liking, but that's fine. Next, we strolled on over to some rolling racks and this is where they had some thicker sweaters, more outerwear kind of pieces. And as I was ruffling through, I found this fun black piece. It was like a nice performance material kind of poncho with a bow on the front. Cute, but not the vibe I was going for. So we left it behind, uh, but it was very notable. Next, we shifted onto pants. I was trying to find a dark wash pant or like something super fun, super patternful. Didn't find anything, but stay tuned for the end with the haul. And then I just, you know, with some time, went to the men's section because I was looking for something for myself or to resell. Found this amazing Pendleton shirt. Attention, learning lesson. Always inspect your items. As I was excited about this, I noticed, you know, the pattern, it caught my eye. But you have to be cautious with a plaid or a tartan or just textured uh, garments in general. Check for holes. There were not one, not two, but three holes on this. Too many for me to fix or want to sell. So I ultimately left this behind. Link will be up in the top right corner for you to check out my latest video on how to sell flawed items should you accidentally buy them. But yeah, ultimately lesson learned. I did not pick this up, so yay. Hello everybody, so we're back from the thrift and I'm so excited, so excited to tell you what I got. It is a cute outfit, like 
oh my gosh, you're gonna wanna buy this whole thing. You're welcome. Okay, so let's start from the top down and we'll go through pricing and we'll put the final look together. Love it. Okay, so first up, oh my gosh, this faux fur vest. Are you kidding me? Like, it is so stunning. It's a black and white and I guess gray in nature. Um, faux fur vest that is so soft. Like, buttery softness. It is so cute. Like, look at the little design in it with the little stripes. It reminds me of the center of a tree as the tree gets older. Um, very cool. It's a full zip. We love it. It's from the brand JM Collection in a size medium. And the price for this was $7.99. I don't think that's a bad deal. Um, you might be thinking, why didn't you get uh, like, a t like a traditional top, like a button down t-shirt? Because I didn't want to. <laughs> we could do the competition however we wanted. Um, but I will say this is a versatile piece. So you could wear this with like a simple black, long sleeve tee underneath, white. Uh, you could do some sort of chambray, a nice chambray button down would be good. You could even do flannel. Like it's really, you know, a perfect kind of colder month accessory item uh, that you can always rock with your outfit. So next up, which I'm so happy about, is this pair of American Eagle jeans and they are the super, super skinny. Um, they are a size four and um, I was shocked that they were in such good condition. So they do have purposeful rips at the knees, but overall, the type of pant is a flare, which I feel like is so perfect, uh, you know, for present, I'm not gonna say trendy, but you can always rock a good flare and you can roll it up if it's a little too long. Um, we love it, they're in really great shape. Again, they're a size four and this was $7.99. I will say for something like this, the pricing was pretty much similar to Los Angeles. Um, so that worked. I wasn't shocked by the price of the jeans. I will say here, I was not expecting to pay that much, but you know, things happen and that's that. So next up, let's talk about the shoes. Okay, so when I was building this masterpiece of an outfit, I needed to start with the shoes. We need to start from the root and grow into, you know, the beautiful tree we are. So, enter this fabulous, oh, leopard cheetah print pump. It is so freaking cute, it's gorgeous. It's got a nice, wide, chunky heel. Look at this, like a block heel. <gasps> Added comfort, right? Uh, these are by Charles, Charles David, and these are a size seven and a half medium. And uh, I don't normally buy this brand, but I have seen them and they are really cute shoes. Uh, the cost for these were $5.99. They do look virtually new. I will say probably tried on, but never worn. And um, just need a little brushing and dust removing, but look at how cute this is. <gasps> I'm obsessed. So here's, here's where um, I want to update you guys that this is like not a cheating situation, but this just worked out in my favor. Okay, so as you can probably count, these three items were around $22, $23. With tax, it would have gone over $25. But because I was part of the membership club for this thrift store, I did not know I had a coupon for $10 off a $20 purchase. Yes, you heard that correctly. 10 off 20. So I was like, Oh, perfect, I have an, a bonus accessory. So when I saw this bag, you guys, it is not a brand, it is not a label. It is in fact, no label, but I had to get it. You'll see why, ready? Ready, okay, count, one, two. Oh my, I know, I know, I know. It is so freaking cute. It is, look at this, look at this, it's wood. And it is this faux croc alligator print with this gold hardware, you guys, you guys, this is so cute. This is so cute, I'm obsessed. And the best part, you just do the list, oh, and it opens up. And oh, you're probably thinking like, is there a crossbody? And I'm here to tell you, yes, there is. So um, the crossbody is inside and it's brand new. Brand new, never used. Look at this, it's stunning. Um, you know, this is not the bag, the biggest bag in the world. You'll have no problem fitting your wallet and phone, but um, you know, it's a structured faux leather bag. And I am obsessed. Wait, why won't you go in? There we go. 
Uh, I'm obsessed with it. And this was $6.99. So when I was at the cashier, I was getting the main three items and I was gonna say, how much is it with this? Well, honey, before I could ask, she was like, you have 10 off 20, you wanna use it? And I was like, uh, yeah, I do. So for the bag, the shoes, the jeans, and the top, the total with tax was $20. I almost fell into the bathtub. Twenty dollars, you guys, for all four things. I'm obsessed. Uh, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I am living. I am living. So because I can't put on the clothes, I'm not that size. Um, we're just gonna do a, like a little outfit review, okay? So you know, you're going to lunch with the gals, brunch with the gals, or whomever. And you want to look cute, so you're gonna grab your cute shoes because you know you want to wear these. Um, but before you put them put them on, you're gonna put on the pants, the cute flares. You're gonna put on the cute vest over whatever shirt you want, and then you're gonna add the shoes. Oh my god, you guys! How cute is this outfit? And the handbag ties into the shoes. Remember what I was talking about with the browns? There's a tasteful way to add brown and black so that it doesn't look like. Clearly you did not try to go for like a full color look. No, I don't, I'm different, right? I take bold choices. So the browns tie into each other, the black uh, kind of grounds the whole outfit, and I just think this is so fun. And with the addition of the um, arm strap on the bag, you can really just be out all day, sipping your more, your, your mimosas, I almost said more mimosas, uh, sipping your mimosas safely, of course, safely. Um, so for whenever you want to go to brunch, when it's safe to do so, think of this outfit because this is so cute. I'm so happy with you guys. Um, so now this is the fun part. You have to go over to see a Lori's video, Lori's Boss and Found, link in the description and see her outfit. And then you have to comment which one did you like best, okay? And then I think if you guys thumbs up the video enough, we're going to do a revisit of this outfit and see what has sold. Because, you know, why not? We're thrifters, we're resellers. We want to see where we made some money. So with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you loved this super cute outfit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.